Today we're taking a look at the portable fish finder which was sent to me at no charge for the purpose of this review and the first thing you want to do when you get this out of the box is go ahead and install your AAA batteries. It takes four which are not included. All right so once you have your batteries installed you're just going to short press the power button one time and this is going to enter into normal mode and this is the mode that you're going to want to use when you are out fishing. Now to set this up uh, it's really ready to go right out of the box. Um, but if you want to make some changes to it, you can hold your setup button for approximately five seconds. And then if you'll look at this top row, uh, these are all going to be flashing. And every time you push your setup button, you're going to go to the next object. Now, the first one here is going to be your sensitivity. And you can adjust your sensitivity by hitting your enter button up to five times. And you can see that sensitivity level changing from a minimum all the way up to a maximum. When you hit that, when you, when you get that where you want it, you hit your setup button. This is going to show your battery. Uh, next is going to be your volume on or off. And we'll leave it on for just a little bit. Then you've also got your backlight on or off. We also want to leave the backlight on. So we'll hit our enter button. When everything, when you're satisfied with all of your settings, you hit your enter button and it beeps and you're good to go. Now on the right hand side here is going to be your depth and it's going to show you the depth of the fish and also uh, right up here you see these three lines it's going to show you the depth of the body of water water that you're in and you can have that in feet or meters. The way you change that is you, you long press your enter button and then you can switch that again from feet to meters and uh, I'm just going to leave it how it is. Down here at the bottom, you're going to see uh, this is going to be your structure, your weed beds, and uh, and other things that might be down at the bottom. One thing that we can do uh, today is we can power this off, and you power it off by long pressing for about five seconds. When it is off and you long press your power button for another five seconds, you're going to go into your simulation mode. And so this is what it's going to look like uh, when you are out fishing and fish are coming by. It's going to beep every time a fish comes onto your screen. It's going to show the depth. It's going to show your depth of water. And uh, it's also going to show your weeds and your structure down here at the bottom. So it's got some really nice features to it. It's going to be great in a kayak. It's going to be great uh, fishing out of a boat. And you can also fish from the bank. Let me show you something else here. So your transducer or your sonar uh, does have a mounting plate that you can mount to your kayak or you can mount it to uh, your boat wherever you want to put this and then the float is also adjustable so you can move your float so you can have this sinking or you can have this hovering at whatever depth you set and the float does have a stopper in it and so you can put that anywhere you want and that's going to stay there and it's going to keep your uh, transducer just kind of floating there. Now I've mentioned many times just fishing from the bank. You've got 25 foot of cable here that is going to uh, connect to your handheld device and they're just going to plug in together just like this and then they're going to screw tight. So uh, you can have this at the back of your boat, at the rear of your boat, and you can be fishing from the front of your boat and still uh, still be connected and everything working fine. Or you can fish from the bank. Like I said, you've got 25 feet of line here that you can toss out and uh, especially if you're hitting those uh, those breeding beds or the nesting beds um, then you're gonna have great luck using uh, using this so if you want a, a fish kind of just close to the bank you know you're then and wonder what's in your body of water it's gonna be great for bank fishing kayak fishing boat fishing sea fishing lake fishing pond fishing it doesn't matter where you're at this thing is going to work for you and uh, it's going to be it's going to help you catch more fish. So that is the handy fish finder, easy to use and uh, definitely definitely makes fishing a bit more enjoyable.